There were two big high school hockey games at Graham Arena in Rochester tonight, and Mary was there. How did it all go? Yes, Tyler. In boys hockey, the New Prague Trojans faced off against the Mayo Spartans tonight. The Spartans are in the white jerseys, and the Trojans are in black. Lots of shots on goal for the Spartans. This one was scoreless after one period. And then the Spartans came away with a win in a close one, beating the Trojans 5-4. The Century Panthers hosted the Northfield Raiders tonight. The Raiders led two zip after one period and added another one in the second period. That one was a little bit crazy. And then take a look at this. Braden Olsen shoots and he scores. Northfield wins big, beating Century 8-2. And switching to the hardwood in girls hoops, the Red Wing Wingers beat the Casamanerville Comets on their home floor, getting the 82-54 victory. The St. Charles Saints got a convincing win over the Wabasha Kellogg Falcons 65-41. And girls basketball regionals kicked off in North Iowa today. The GTRA Titans won in a close one over the North Iowa Bison 48-44. The Newman Catholic Knights knocked off the Northwood Kensett Vikings 67-42. And in Southeastern Minnesota boys hoops, the Lyle Pacelli Athletics got the victory over the Leroy Ostrander Cardinals 80-47. And congrats are in order to Lyle Pacelli's Bue Koak. He is now the school's all-time leading scorer. And the Kingsland Knights won big over the Mabel Canton Cougars, 75-40. to 40. And in the National Football League, awards were handed out tonight. One Minnesota Viking was recognized. Wide receiver Justin Jefferson, here he's handing out some turkeys. He is named the AP NFL Offensive Player of the Year. He had a league-best 1,809 receiving yards and eight touchdowns.